That's the main thing, and I said I'd continue to do it whilst I enjoy it because um, I've got to get out of the house on the weekends, and uh, it's a great way to get out. Well, the Jones boy is going to have a few more weekends out of the house again this year. Since that third place at Mount Panorama last year in the Colin Bond Sierra, Jones has been out of the fast lane. The good life on the Gold Coast is an irresistible temptation. This is the funny side of this. <laughs> 220 horsepower and I've got a bloody ore in my Well, occasionally there is trouble in paradise. But when you've reached the pinnacle in a sport and still have that competitive glint in the eye, the offers of a comeback are never far away. And this week, Jones, the 1980 World Formula One champion and winner of 12 F1 Grand Prix, was back in his racing suit and back on the track. He'll join another Formula One legend, the 1968 world champion, Denny Hull, as the second combination in the powerful left-hand drive Sierras of the Benson and Hedges team. We figured that Jones and, and Denny, uh, you just couldn't get two better guys. Uh, Senna and Prost were, were racing that weekend, so they couldn't come across. So I think we've got a good team. There's not much Jones and Hull have left to achieve in motor racing. Jones, though, would love to win Bathurst. And with Frank Gardner's vast experience, the verve of reigning king of the mountain, Tony Longhurst, and the superb preparation of this three-car team, Jones must have a great chance of fulfilling that dream. Our endurance engines now have got about 40 horsepower on what we were racing with last year, and uh, that should be worth half a second at Bathurst. And uh, cars are running very reliably. So I can't wait to get up on the mountain. It smacks of European racing, really, you know, right from the transporter down to the appearance of the mechanics and just total professionalism. It's great. The combination with Denny would make you two of the most experienced drivers out there. I think 20 Grand Prix between the two of you. Yeah, I mean, it's great because, you know, Denny's been uh, racing saloon cars. Well, he did a lot last year. In fact, he got first and second at the Australian Grand Prix last year. Um, so, you know, I'm delighted to be teaming up with him. And Bathurst may only be the stepping stone to something more permanent for the ex-Formula One king. I'd like to full-time come back if I could drive in a team like this. So I think I really would, where you know that all you've got to do is turn up and drive the car and you know it's just, it's, everything's perfect, you know, and uh, I'd like to do it full-time. But for the moment, it's a matter of meeting the boys behind the team and regaining his confidence behind the wheel. Never get quick sitting at home. Um, so really now, it's what, one of the reasons for today is just to give us a few miles just to really get back in the groove. You know, it's, um, you do lose a little things, a few little things by being out of the car. And uh, it's amazing what an hour or two back in can sort of bring a few things back to you. And it's, this is, you know, Frank Gardner is a very, very professional man and he realises this and that's why we're here.